Hi, welcome to Divi Body Commerce Overview and Install Guide. So this is just a, a quick uh, video, or hopefully it'll be quick, just explain how to you know install the Divi plugin, Divi Body Commerce plugin, and then how to just a bit of an overview of of the settings tabs and how, where, where to find things. So I've just um, you know got the default Divi theme installed on Word, WordPress. Uh, I have WooCommerce plugin installed. That's all I have. I have nothing else done on this website. So let's go ahead. Oh, the one thing I have done is I've just imported all the sample d the data, uh, the products. So let's go ahead and uh, add the Body Commerce plugin. You can find this plugin in your account area and uh, just download the zip file and then upload it as I did there. So go to plugins, add new, upload the zip file and click um, upload. And then once it's uploaded, activate the plugin. And that's it, it's in, installed and ready to go. Uh, by default it does nothing to the website. So nothing will change, it'll still look the same and, uh, and, I, and it does that because I don't want to affect the website, I want you to have full uh, flexibility on what you want to do. So uh, the first thing you need to do is go in and uh, enter in your license key. So either click that link or go to Divi Engine Body Commerce License and enter in your license key which you can find in your account area next to your order or on the email. Uh, the reason why you want to you know enter your license key is because uh, you'll keep up with uh, it will you'll be able to do automatic updates so you'll keep up to date with all the WooCommerce updates, it's so important with WooCommerce, it changes, things change all the time and uh, if you don't keep up to date, the website might you know, start not looking right and there might be errors and stuff, so uh, keeping up to date is, is key for security as well. Okay, so the first, the first real tab is if you've got a Divi Engine and Body Commerce, here we have our main settings. The main settings is all the different sections that we have. Currently, as of you know, it's uh, just the end of July 2018 at the moment. Uh, so currently, this is how the plugin is. Uh, there's going to be loads more stuff added in the future. So uh, check out any new videos. Like the, the the different sections will be on the new videos. But the, as far as overview, uh, it may look slightly different going forward. But this just gives you an idea. So. The first one's product page, which is product page templates. So this is to uh, create a custom product page template uh, using the Divi Builder and uh, for your product pages. So the product page, just so we're clear, is this page over here. So this is the product page, and you would change it over here. The shop category page is uh, to change the shop in the category page layouts. Now. Uh, I just kind of want to explain to you what you know. I'm in the UK, so let's go to Next Co UK, and this is kind of to give you a bit of an idea of what the shop and the category page is. They're the same, but they're, they're similar, but they're different. So here on Next, we have the shop page, which is in a way the shop or the e-commerce home page. So the shop page will have a slider. It may have some related products. Blah blah blah. Then we have. So if I go to uh, you know men's suits, there we have the category page, which displays all the you know this the category men's suits, and in there we have the product page. So uh, on Body Commerce we have the shop page and the category page, and you can select the shop page template or the category page template. So effectively, this is the shop page, home shop, and clothing would be a category page home clothing and we'll get more into detail on, what, on all the different settings the account page is once you have an account with the store where you can access your orders downloads edit your accounts details addresses and you can have other stuff there if you'd like so here you can create the account templates the login page templates this is you know the login and register pages card page uh, just so we all clear is a card page checkout is the checkout page uh, and you can create a custom checkout page uh, we uh, 
due to the way the the, the, the the checkout page works it's very difficult to give you full full flexibility to use to create whatever layout you want uh, because uh, certain a certain a certain uh, aspects of the checkout page needs to be in s together like it needs to be in one form so yeah we've created some custom checkout layouts which you can use email template so this is where you customize your email template mini carts and cart icons so by default if you hover over the basket icon Divi doesn't have a mini cart uh, if we uh, you know add a mini cart this is a very you know na native state there it has a mini cart on hover uh, and then a custom cart icon again that's like some icons that we created so you can create custom icons and change this one over here sale new free badge so uh, if you go to the shop page or whatever you have any products that have been discounted you have a sale badge that comes up now we've got some custom badges and you can show the percentage of the sale that they, the percentage of the saving that they're getting uh, you can have if there's a new product you can add a new badge if there's a free product you can add a free badge and you can have different uh, badges so it's pretty cool it makes a bit different than just that variation swatch variation swatches which is the the, the latest one as of July is uh, on the variable products so if we go to a hoodie uh, we can instead of having this drop down we can have uh, the actual you know they, they can see the color for instance they can see blue green red if it's like a material like wood uh, you know, fabric you can upload an image and they can see the image of the wood and the fabric or whatever so we'll get to that on a, another video but that's just a brief one of the variation swatches is settings tab so with the Ajax add to cards which you enable in the body commerce mods if it's not working because uh, certain people you know customize their store uh, to do certain certain ways if you have a you know a normal e-commerce store WooCommerce store original will be fine but if it's not working quite right try dynamic and it should work if not get in touch and we can try and help you sort that out uh, but uh, we have you know quite a, have quite a few people using body commerce and those two seem fun if you want to disable body commerce CSS you can do that and if you're not using the body commerce gallery you can disable that one as well so just to increase your load time so that's the main tabs and the, the main setting tabs now if we go over to the body commerce mod section over here we have it's like kind of categorized on general modifications or global modifications which is throughout the whole website archive with archive page mods which is your shop and your category page single page mods which is your product page user customer checkout admin so global mods enable ajax add to cart so ajax add to cart is for those who don't know if you add a product to your cart currently uh, if you look at this it will reload the page and it will say hoodie has been added to your cart which is okay but I, I've never really liked it so if you enable a Ajax add to cart I'm just going to show you quickly I'll you know we can go more into it and you add green no add to cart it will add it automatically and there it's added now you may think well how do I know it's added and this is kind of where you can kind of add these settings so add to card so you can say add to card notification text so once it's added you can say added you can stay be loaded for four seconds before it disappears change the notify notification button background color and text color so let's try that again so blue yes and you'll see it says added and then it should go back to that was and that's one way you can do it there's another way if you're using and I'll get into this if you're using uh, the mini cart I'll do this very quickly for you you can you can make it so it auto shows the mini cart so I'll get onto that on a another when I do the mini cart uh, like overview so uh, by default if you don't have an image on uh, the on your store like on your product it will 
it, it won't it'll show like a, a, a an, an image but if you want to specify your own image maybe it's your company logo you can upload a default product image uh, so, uh, this setting over here enable WooCommerce button fix so uh, Divi has a bit of a, a bug where uh, if you have the color white selected as your button text with WooCommerce it sometimes doesn't show so click yes to enable that. Breadcrumb separator so you can change the breadcrumb separator so you see how it's got a little dash over there now it's going to have that little chev. Uh, remove breadcrumbs altogether if you want. Remove sales badge if you want free product price name so by default the product price if it's free will be zero 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 but you can change it to be free or hello whatever you want when the product has been successfully added to your cart you can change the notification text and the button that appears next to it archive page mods so uh, enable add to basket so you can kind of remove that so this is this these settings are kind of if you're not going to be using the you know the 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 Divi builder to create these category pages and product pages. You can there's some other settings here that you can use, which is you know you can disable add to basket button. You can enable add to basket quantity. Uh, you can move pagination to the top. You can add a uh, description or the short description under the image, and you can add a view product button instead of the add to cart button. Now again, you can do pretty much all this if you if you're using the Divi Builder. You can change the 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 labels of the product sorting. So if you want to sort by average rating, you can do sort by rating, for for example. And uh, you'll see over here sort by average rating if you reload it. <laughs> reload the page. You'll see sort by rating single page mods enable the Divi Builder on the product page so if we go to products or products and go to whatever you want you'll see you'll have the ability to use the Divi Builder on this page single product short description title so that's if you want to have by default you know if you're not using the, the Divi Builder product page you can add a title above the short description over there and again the add to cart notification text the user customer area so by default WooCommerce has a password strength meter which has to be strong in order to use a password you can change this so that they they can enter weak password if you want you can make it so that the user can only buy one item you can make it so that the price is only shown for logged in users and you can disable the toolbar for customers. Checkout mods. Here you can set the default company at checkout. By default WooCommerce uses geolocate but you, you might want to make it so it is Afghanistan for example or wherever. You can use a we have a little quick checkbox on the on the you know if you want a custom checkbox so like a retail terms or whatever you can add this and it will appear on the checkout page. Uh, let me just quickly show you Oh, what the heck? Whatever. I'll have a look at that. Um, yeah, create our terms. Admin dash mods. So over here, change the name of the WooCommerce name. So over here, we have WooCommerce. You can change it to be BodyCommerce Store, and you can see these icons over here. You can change the icon. F126 if you want, F126, save and you will see this body comment store changes but I'm going to revert it back because it's going to confuse people in future videos. So that's if you want to have something a bit different for, um, you know, for clients, maybe clients want their, 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 their store name or whatever, you can use that. Okay, so that's all the the body commerce mods. Uh, any questions, you know, just just hit us up or comment below. So then the final uh, part of uh, you know Divi body commerce is the checkout fields. Uh, I've got one there ready. Let's just delete that so I can just run through it. So if you go onto the the checkout page, proceed to checkout. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. You see Afghanistan. <laughs> okay, so let's say you want to add another field. Um, I don't know. Favorite color or something. Uh, let's go to the to the uh, Divi Body Commerce checkout fields and add a new field. Let's call this favorite color. Is that your favorites? I don't even know. Okay, so the field label favorite color placeholder. Uh, my favorite color is actually green. Uh, unique ID favorite color and it's always good just to add uh, um, a random name that you know because it needs to be unique so you know that it's not being used so I'll just do underscore body commerce or you could do underscore uh, bicycle shop or whatever your shop is do you want this field to be required no error message please select your fave color your fave color don't like that I don't like that favorite color filled with 100% so um, see yeah 50% or 100% display field and view order page that's once you've completed the, the purchase on the view order page or the custom you know add to the email that's sent out yes yes where do I want this field after order notes billing or shipping so I want an after order notes which will appear over here and update it there we go favorite color green uh, and yeah and then I can uh, go through and it, yeah so that would be added onto the onto the order and I can also change it I can I can move it into the billing section or the shipping section uh, which would be over there cool so that's how you do that um, yeah so that's the overview for body commerce um, oh just so you know sorry you can add more just by going to add new and you can add more that's the overview of, overview of body commerce uh, if, if it sounded a bit rushed I'm sorry I just want to get through this overview pretty quickly and then I'll go in more in more detail on each of the different sections uh, and you can watch those videos individually uh, if you need any any assistance or any help you know you can always email us uh, go to our website you find the details there or open a support ticket uh, or you can just comment you know if it, on YouTube or whatever uh, I'll, we, you know I'll, I'll, we always get back to you pretty quickly like within a day within a day I would say we always get back to people if we haven't got back to you then we haven't got the email or the, the message so just find another way just make sure that we've got you know I always try to look everywhere um, yeah so uh, just to confirm this is the overview and I'll, I'll we'll do a video for each different section so if you want to know how to set up the product page jump straight to the product page video uh, and uh, so on so any new features we will release a new video and uh, you may not see it in this overview but it'll be in, de in detail the new release in, in, in the next video so yeah I hope it hope this has helped you guys in some way and uh, see you soon